Hi, Taurus. Welcome into your reading. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Um, skipping right along. Uh, thank you for the well wishes. I sent out a short clip last week when I was really sick. And everybody sent me these beautiful messages. I really felt them. I felt the energy between you guys. I felt the love. And I wanted to just say thank you for that. It really did warm my heart and your energy did help. All right, so with that said, what's going on here? And I, it's because I can't really respond to everyone's message that they left me. Um, so I just want to say it through the video. Okay, third week of March for Taurus, please. All right, we got the Four of Wands and the Six of Cups. You're having some sort of fond memories of the past uh, in regards to a situation where you were upgrading your life, whether it was a job or with a person. Maybe the buying a home or moving in with somebody was on the table, um, and you're you're thinking about that. You're having memories of that. Some of you, you could be dealing with somebody from your past and trying to upgrade your situation, like go from boyfriend, girlfriend to engaged or moving in or from seeing each other to being an item. You get it. Uh, but you're, I think it's more, a lot of you are reflecting on it um, and you're trying to heal your heart. So I don't know if this is just like part of your journey or part of your situation because you have the Three of Swords in reverse back here. Yeah, you're remaining hopeful and positive over some shitty ass ending or something that feels like a betrayal of some kind. What's coming in towards my Taurus, please? Well, there you are, the Queen of Pentacles. This is a Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy card, but this is more over about you. And the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. All right. You you're sitting here taking a little bit of a pause right and you're reflecting on your stability whether it's your job or a person and a relationship it is somebody or something that you had spent quite a bit of time with or in so you're sitting here thinking about this person that you invested your time and energy with a project a job whatever you're reflecting on it and you're thinking to yourself about its stability, its potential for the future, or is it done now? Do I take one of these little pentacles here, one of these little seeds and plant it somewhere else? All right, you're curious, you're debating it. You're debating something. You're really looking at something really hard and you're saying, okay, what do I do? Do I leave this person? Do I leave this relationship? Do I leave this job? What? You're, you're curious also to know what else is out there. So that's also interesting to me. All right. What is it that Taurus doesn't see coming their way? Some of you could be thinking about this about your kids if you're older. The magician, there's your card too. Mm, Ten of Cups, I love this. You will be manifesting this happy environment. That means your you, your coworkers, whatever, um, your family, your immediate family, um, or your spouse, or your boyfriend, girlfriend. You are trying to manifest a happily ever after situation here with someone. Funny how you have the single card right under it, and there's the fire sign. Very interesting to see when we clarify. Uh, what is the advice here for Taurus, please? The Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. And Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Now, the Page of Pentacles, because these are in your advice position, this talks about learning something. A lesson, um, at school quite literally, um maybe at your job the the standard operating procedures this is the novice card this is you're new at something and you're learning the ropes whether it's a relationship or a job others of you if this is in regards to a relationship 
Maybe something hit a brick wall. Maybe something hit stagnation. Maybe something reached its peak. And now you need to go and invite this person out to talk on an emotional level and then wait for those results. Okay. Cause at the bottom of the deck, I do see the sun, but moreover, it's about learning something and extending your heart out to talk to someone and waiting for those results to come in. Very interesting. It's, it's, it's definitely something very impactful for you to do in the sense of learning something here. We'll see when we clarify. Uh, what is the outcome for the week, please, for Taurus? Can also talk about accepting an invitation. All right, because now we have death at the end of the week. And then, oh, wow, look at this, the Ace of Pentacles. I don't even know if that's a blessing in disguise, to be honest with you, Taurus, because this is a brand new solid something, relationship, job, something. Whatever's ending, it's done. It's over. It needs to transition into something else or you're just finished with that and you're moving on with your life. All right, let us continue and start clarifying these cards here. Why does Taurus have the Six of Cups and the Four of Wands, please, here? Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you guys are holding on to a relationship or a job. That's it. It's just point blank. And you're having fond memories of this. Oh, the good old days. But you're trying to manifest. Either you're trying to manifest the good old days or you're trying to manifest this person back into your world or in general something. But you are reflecting on something from your past. And you are holding on to it. Some of you it can be finances from something like a job that you have and you're just trying to hold on there and you're waiting for this upgrade meaning promotion um and something to you that might have been promised others of you something that you're reflecting holding on to a person of the good memories from a marriage or a commitment that you might have had but this is new new people new everything i see newness coming in for you what is this queen of pentacles page of wands seven of pentacles Knight of Pentacles walking forward slowly but cautiously. Slowly though. Like slow. <laughs> Eight of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so you're taking some sort of action now, right? Wow. Here's your third eight. Eight of Wands. Okay, this is going back to something and getting yourself unstuck. So I don't know if there's something in your past where there's a lesson there to be had that you remember that helps you with your present and your future get your getting your ass unstuck and now you're moving forward slowly i don't know if you're having uh you know a light bulb moment and you're saying oh that's nice i can compartmentalize that's my past i'll leave it there and now i can move on with my future um but you're reflecting on it you're thinking about the time and energy you had put in this situation and you're going back to it, okay, at least on an emotional level. But mentally, you're getting yourself unstuck. So this is emotionally going back, but mentally getting yourself unstuck. And now physically and quite literally moving forward, but slowly and cautiously. I think it, there's some sort of curiosity here that's gotten to you. And now you're taking action with this Eight of Wands, whether it's communicating with somebody or uh, putting some sort of action out there. Like, what do I mean? Like throwing resumes out there is action you're taking and you're doing and you're communicating. Um, others of you, it's just you talking to somebody back and forth. Now, mind you, Mercury just went into Aries and that's going to be there for two months. And Mars, the Aries planet energy going into uh, 
Mercury in that direction, everyone kind of going to be a little bit like loud and out there and in your face. And you're going to, Taurus, you're going to have to be like snapping back at these people. Or at least you're going to feel like you need to snap back at them. <laughs> I'm just warning you. It's a rough energy. Uh, let's see what the magician, um, I don't know, maybe you might like it. Who knows? The magician. Clarify the magician. The higher font. The eight of pentacles in reverse. And the king of cups. Somebody here is being resistant or fighting you or being very defensive. Whether that's you or this person. King of Cups is somebody that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They don't have to be that sign, but they are somebody emotionally available, at least in the upright position. So it's not a full breakup or somebody that's like a rejected or a, a cruel person. But somebody also stopped working towards the commitment to the relationship. And that's what you are trying to manifest now. I don't know if you're trying to manifest on fixing it, reworking it, making it happen with this person, but somebody stopped because they got resistant and a little bit toxic, I might add. This doesn't have to be toxic. It could just be fear-based. Somebody's scared to move on, to move forward. So they're all like, oh, very defensive. It's so funny. I was watching this like little video clip uh, on Instagram about the song Bruno Mars and Miley Cyrus, I Can Buy Myself Flowers. And he, and then the Bruno Mars, should have bought you flowers. And then you have Miley Cyrus goes, I can buy myself flowers. It's like those opposing energies. I'm bringing it up because that's what it feels like. It's like somebody wants to buy flowers. And the other person's like, I can buy my own flowers. It's like, who the hell is fighting this? It's pretty funny. And that's why in your advice position, it's like you might need to accept an invitation or ask somebody out here. There's something to be learned uh, or had here. Uh, and you just need to be patient to wait for this to come in for you and, to, and see it's, you know, what will come into fruition. Let's see what's going on here. Please advise. What I said earlier, Ace of Cups. There's some new love here. Fresh new start in love. There's no other way or place to go when you have death in your outcome. It has to go to something new. That's the next step. The natural course of life. Fresh new start in love. Or something you will love to do. You can't see it if you're pining over this. Alright, let's see what death is saying. Accept this new love is what it's saying. This is given to you by the hand of God. That's what that hand is. It's coming out of nowhere. It's coming out of clouds and giving it to you on a silver platter. Taurus, death, please. Clarify death. comes back to vindicate you validate you and I don't know if that holds you back in a way because maybe you always wanted to hear this from this person but you're like still whatever um but there it is vindication validation with the ace of swords someone puts all their cards on the table this could be closure also because I see the nine of cups in reverse make no mistake whoever's doing it could also be someone a little selfish uh but there's an ending there okay What's coming in for Taurus, please? Can you just show me what's coming in after this death? That's probably next week's reading. Yeah, you have the Empress. There's the waiting card. And the Two of Swords. You know your worth and your value. So when you're picking partners or life situations, Taurus, you you know what you, you bring to the table. You obviously know know it so when people are giving you options in life you tend to be here in this place quite often the two of swords where you're saying to yourself 
I really need to think about this. It's a tough call for me. I don't know what decision to make here because will it work for me? Will it not? Will it bring me stability? Will it not? You calculate all these things. So these are some energies we're going to be looking into perhaps in the following week because this is what's coming after death card from your outcome. Let's see what the romance angels have to say here. Romance, please, for Taurus. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. If you met somebody new and it feels like it's going a little weird, um, yeah, romantic feelings, and you feel like it's going off kilter or it's not going in the direction that you like, now's the time to insert the flirtiness. Let bygones be bygones. Pretend whatever, whatever. You didn't hear it. You didn't see it. Just start fresh and be playful. And go out and have a drink or two and learn each other and get this fresh new love on because you will eventually realize your romantic feelings. We'll see when we clarify the extended. But let's finish off this reading with the Wisdom House of Night and we can be finished. Wisdom. For your reading for the week. Oh, you got belonging. I love this card. All right, belonging. My dear one, I know you have been searching your whole life for a sense of belonging, a feeling of home and acceptance. Come and enter the house of night, for when you choose this symbol, you have joined us in the community of beauty, friendship, and secrets only shared and known among my chosen ones. You are chosen to belong. This symbol tells you that you are in the right place right now. You are at home. Be at home inside yourself. Learn to be comfortable in your own skin. When you choose this symbol, know that the goddess of night has chosen you. So you are being protected. You are being watched. All right, guys, this is what I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.